the plot thickening in the case of a Boynton Beach newlywed attempting to kill her husband. She apparently had a boyfriend and was after money. That, according to paperwork filed with the courts today. News Channel 5's Katie Brace reports Michael DiPolito is now making sure his wife can't take his home. Just two days after his wife is accused of trying to kill him, Michael DiPolito officially filed for divorce. He's also filed a lawsuit to get his townhouse back from his wife. All of a sudden he goes from just being in a marriage, waking up one morning and his whole life obviously getting turned upside down. That is an understatement. Detectives say she wanted him dead. No. Police received a tip. The civil lawsuit says the tip came from Dahlia DiPolito's boyfriend on the side. An undercover officer posed as a hitman. Police set up a sting. I didn't do anything and I didn't plot anything. Court documents filed on Michael's behalf read, she did not love the plaintiff and only married him to unlawfully obtain his property. She knew she wanted the plaintiff dead and her representations of love and devotion were false at the time they were made and were made to induce the plaintiff to marry her. The sole purpose for the marriage was to convert all of his property to her own use. Their home in Renaissance Commons is valued around $232,000. Michael purchased it days before the couple married six months ago. It was transferred to his wife's name the day before she's accused of trying to hire a hitman. Dahlia can't go near the townhouse. She's on house arrest at her mom's. So surprised about the whole thing. So at this point, I don't know if anything can surprise him anymore. She is now living about a half mile away from the man she's accused of trying to have killed. In Boynton Beach, Katie Brace, WPTV, News Channel 5.